This show is interested in what happens at junior level, those who are emerging and the feel-good stories. So we had young uh, Raphael Savelli in the studio last week, just 13 years of age, uh, helping uh, Victoria win the Australian Teams Championships and you know, pretty daunting for a young man to uh, come in and do a little bit of radio, but I thought he handled himself uh, very well and gave us some great insights as a 13-year-old what it's like to be embarking on this journey that you don't know where it's going to go exactly. You need you know, parental support. If you're any good, you're going to get some Tennis Australia support. And you enter at your own risk, but you're trying to have a crack at playing the sport that you love. The J60 on the Gold Coast, so the ITF uh, Junior Australian Tournaments are played uh, right throughout the year. On the back of those teams' championships, we had the J60. Another good story from New Zealand, uh, Jonty Glesson, the fifth seed, he defeated the number one seed Rowan Hatsarala 7-5-6-7-11-9 in the tiebreak. And on the women's side, a wild card, Alicia Dale, 6-1-6-4, defeating Audrey Aulia to uh, take the title. Now, going back a, a few months ago, we had Darren Sturgis, the CEO of Tennis Tasmania, on this show. On the back of the Pizzy Cup, which is an annual event played, Alicia made history, becoming the first Tasmanian girl to win the Australian Cup in 44 years. In the girls' final, she went head-to-head with Juliet Santito from Queensland, won the first set 6-1, lost the second 5-7, then went on to win the tiebreaker 10-7. She's a great story out of Tassie. Wildcard wins the J60, if you don't mind. Alicia, congratulations. Thank you. That's got to feel uh, pretty good. This has been a great year for you. Yeah, it has, yeah. Pretty proud of it, actually, yeah. Tell us about your rise. You're 17 years of age and uh, you're coming from a you know a great part of Australia, uh, Tassie, um, who you know have a WTA tournament every year, the Hobart International. In fact, I think you ran into uh, Darius Seville what, a couple of years ago when Dasha was injured at the time and um, you got to sort of hang out with her for a bit. So give us a little bit of backstory to uh, to Alicia Dale. Um, yeah, so just started playing when I was six, just just loving it and then started to play tournaments and then got a bit more serious about it and then, yeah, just started winning some tournaments, finally found what I liked and, yeah, just got some wins. What's the part of tennis that you love the most? I mean, I always sort of ask that question because in Australia we have choice, don't we? You know, you grow up... You have so many uh, sports that you could choose from. Some go down the team sport angle. Others like to go down the individual sport where it's just you out there fighting your own battle. Yeah, I think just what kind of brought me to tennis was I just like the competing of it, like just the competitive side. Like I love getting out there, like focusing on what I want to work on, like trying to achieve what I can and what I want to eventually. And yeah, I just really like competing, like, Individual, obviously, it's hard. Um, it gets hard, but, you know, you always just got to find a way and, yeah. Yeah, it builds a bit of resilience, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Which can then carry over into life in general as you're growing up. So you won the Rafael Nadal Tour event uh, here in Australia a few years back. So you actually got to get go over to Spain to train at his academy. Tell us about that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I went over there in October of 2022 just for two weeks. Um, it was like a training program kind of thing. Um, just to see what it was like over there at the academy, like what all of the annual players do day in, day out. Um, And, yeah, it was just a really good experience, like a bit different from Australia, just like, you know, kind of the same routine, wake up, breakfast, um, first session, a little bit of lunch, like then school, more training, and, yeah, just getting into bed and getting rest and stuff. You're the youngest winner of the party shield, which is a very historical prize for school-aged Tasmanians. And when you met uh, Daria Seville, of course, at the Hobart International last year, you were recovering from a pretty significant uh, knee injury, which is not a good thing to get as a, as a teenager. And I think you were comparing scars there with uh, Dasha. So over- <coughs> overcoming that injury at a young age, tell us about that. And can you remember any of those conversations with Daria? Did she have any words of wisdom for you? Yeah, I think... Um... Just when you get injured, I feel like you kind of just have to look to the future. Like you can't dwell on the past and focus on what you could have done to try and avoid it. Like it's happened and obviously it wasn't ideal, but I just had to make the best of a bad situation, just get the surgery in as quick as I could and then just get back on the court and do what I love as soon as I could just to 
get back grinding and trying to get as be- as good as I could. And yeah, it was really good meeting um, Dasha actually because yeah, as you said, she also did her ACL like around the same time. I did mine a bit after hers. Mm. And it was just really good to have someone like at that next level of where I want to get to eventually one day, Um, just kind of going through something similar to me. And just, I felt like I like, it just felt personal. Like it just felt like she knew what I was going through and she was just saying to me, just like, hang in there. Like it gets better. Like um, just do the physio, the exercises and just get back out there. And yeah. I'll tell you what, if you've got half her competitiveness, you're a, you're a chance to make it in this sport. We all, all love watching <laughs> yeah. Dasha because she leaves nothing in the locker room. Alicia, uh, well done. What does the rest of this year sort of look like for you from a tennis perspective? Um, so I have another J60 on the Gold Coast starting on Wednesday um, for a week. And then after that, I think just get back training for a bit. There's a few local tournaments down in Hobart that I'll try and compete in. And then, yeah, I reckon just trying to travel and um, do some more ITFs in Adelaide, some J30s later this year, Great. and then hopefully make it to um, December showdown at Great. the end of the year. Great stuff. I'm going to follow your journey really closely. Well done. It's a great achievement. Wild card, you win the J60, and hopefully you can continue to kick on. Thank you. Alicia Dale from Tasmania, getting it done on the ITF Junior Tour here in Australia.